here is the tail to one of the long-tailed ripple flaked oblique arrowheads uh, like those found in the 2010 excavations. Uh, they would have consisted of a triangular oblique arrowhead with a tail coming from one corner which would have practically been used to half them but it's likely that these examples were never used uh, and were simply as a ritual deposit. Uh, you can see on the um, tail the fine parallel flakes taken off by pressure flaking to give the ripple effect that gives the arrowhead its name. I was on my day off and I volunteered to do some digging because I have a lot of uh, digging experience having been a professional field archaeologist in the past. I was given the choice deposit to excavate. It was the layer sealing the occupation layer which was on top of the chalk floor in the Neolithic building. So I was really chuffed to be digging this deposit. <laughs> we found a tail. They found Don't a tell him! I'm not going to run. Found a bit of flint. Found a burial. Polished axe. A bigger burial. Oh, lovely. It's, oh, that is beautiful, actually. That's wonderful. You've got another. Yeah, I did yeah, right through the spoil. It's the, it's the, it's the, the, the tail of one of these long tails. They seem to be unique to Marden. But it's, uh, it's a tail. Yeah, this might even refit on one of the ones in the museum. Last time I saw these arrowheads, they were being excavated. <laughs> Okay, so we can immediately see that the colour of the flint works quite well with that one there. Uh, with both of them, in fact. Let's put them on that white background. Not that's quite a right. nerd. Oh, that's oh, a yes! No way! It is! No, it is! That's so exciting! <gasps> Fabulous! It fits! <laughs> About five and a half thousand years later. Five and a half, yeah, and then five years between excavating the two, and we've finally got the rest of the arrowheads. <laughs> and look at that for a piece of flint work. Isn't that amazing? It's just astounding. You can imagine the, um, the annoyance, the shouts of anger, <laughs> when that incredibly fragile tail just snapped off. The number of hours that went in to create that arrowhead. Yes. Gibbles are doing the first place. Back in 2010, when we were excavating at Marden Henge, we uncovered two remarkable arrowheads. These arrowheads are absolutely exquisite. Technically, they are ripple flaked oblique arrowheads, but what marks them out from um, other arrowheads from elsewhere? from that particular time is one extraordinarily long tail on one side. These are not arrowheads that could have been used um, in everyday circumstances. You wouldn't have taken one of these hunting. No, these are something else. These arrowheads are show-off items. They are somebody showing off their ability, their craftsmanship. In terms of quality, these arrowheads are truly unique for this period and this country. If you wanted to look for anything similar in terms of the craftsmanship involved, you have to turn your attention to the continent where they are producing um, some beautiful barbed and turned arrowheads. So whilst excavating this deposit, I found what looked like a sliver of bone, but on closer investigation, I realised it was the tail of an arrowhead, a very, very finely worked, exciting find. At which point I grabbed my camera and put the arrowhead in the hand of a, a student and uh, Jim coming over to look at it. And it was one of, in fact, it was the most exciting find of my entire archaeological career.